Hi guys and welcome to Angling For You and today you join me on the big one. So what have we got in front of us? We've got the Guru RSW Special Edition and it's a Reeve box of course um, and it's 36mm legs and it's an absolute beast. We're going to get into it, we're going to look at the quirks and the features. There's things already I like about it, there's things I'm not so sure about. It's a lot of money which we'll go into but let's get into it and see what this is, box is made of. Right, boys we're going to get straight into it now looking at the box itself before we get anything off comes with a nice case which is for me essential really if you're throwing it up and down the car when you're spending this much money so before we go into anything else we're going to start with money so i get loads of different people messaging me about boxes and what fits their price range now i'm not telling you to go out and buy this kind of box and we're showing you it as a, an exercise because there's loads of different people that watch our videos. Some people are top flight matchmen, some people fish day in, day out, and some people have got the money to get the best out there. This is 1,500 quid. Yes, you can, you can get other maybe deals, and if you know people, you know, you can get it a little bit cheaper, but essentially it's a 1,500 quid box, so there's, it's a lot of money. Uh, we're going to go into it. We're going to have a look around and see if you can see why it costs that extra money um, and look about the features of it. Now, it, there's budgeted boxes in all different sizes and all different price ranges. If you have a look in our playlist um, and our unboxing reviews, there's boxes all across the spectrum. So it's not as if we're just telling you to get £1,500 one. So we'll put that out there before you start me in the comments. Right, so I'm going to take this uh, case off. And we can start to have a look at this very handsome boy. Let's just put that over there, out the way. So, straight away, whew, it looks pretty attractive, we'll be honest. Um, the seat looks great. Now, the first thing you can see is it's got a wider shape to the seat. We're gonna go in close with the camera, so don't worry if you can't see it from first views. Um, we will go in close. So, as you can see straight away, it's got this lovely, lovely diamond style wider seat so it giving you that little bit of extra when you sat on the edge of your seat if you're fishing down the edge or you're across your seat and um, reaching down um, either side it's got that little slight bit more uh, of support and if you're a bigger guy or lady and you've got a big ass like me you've got um, a little bit more space on there to give you a little bit more comfort and it also overhangs at the back and again we'll show you that when we're getting close so reef boxes have that unique system where the top that the front two legs, they're actually attached to the foot plate. The only legs that are attached to the physical frame of the box are the rear legs. Now, it's a little bit different. Um, it does make sense when you pull it out. Now, when you're setting your boxes up, you want a slight angle forward. So this is already set like that. So then you're getting that pressure off your back, especially when you're fishing a pole. So what we're gonna do is extend the, the, the foot plate first. We can have a look at it like that before we go in close and have a look at the features. So, that's all Guru boxes and all Reeve boxes. They have the little twisting um, buttons here which are already twisted open so you can pull out the frame and you put, pull that all the way and then it's a little bit more. Not easy from that angle. There we go. So we can just pull that forward and that locks in place now so it's not going to go anywhere absolutely solid and this is what i meant by four legs now the four legs are attached to those foot plates i'm just going to lift that a little bit further back so we can see it they're attached to that foot plate so the rock solid and you're going to be stood on that so that's going to be supporting your weight and giving extra strength to the front of the box and again those back ones are actually on your main frame which like i said we'll go into when we get close now the, the first thing I'm going to go on about is the drawers. Now, this was a massive pet eight. If you watch my um, my review on boxes I've owned, um, and one thing I really hated about my box was the fact that when you sit on it, it nips. It doesn't do that on this one. I might be a bit out of shot, but I'm going to show you. So, one touch, one touch press on these, and it's it's out on the side. Now it's a soft touch. It's really, really clever idea. Um, it's so stealth there. I didn't. I was pressing the wrong part of the cassette because it's just nice and flush. Um, but the good thing is, it's got that little bit of liner, so it's completely waterproof, which you'd expect for this money. And a little push to get it back in. And again, there's one at the front that you can release, um, which allows you to get quick access 
to all sorts and that foam lining which we'll show you in close that clicks really simple into place just a really clever idea now with the open leg system they had problems in the past uh, where they were getting washers and parts of it that were starting to rust they've done out with all that it's all changed um, and you're not getting that system they've got they've used proper stainless parts and it's not going to rust again we'll show you those up close now the frame itself is proper stealth out in black it's got a really nice sort of feel to it but it does come with a double-edged sword now the foot plate is black obviously which i really like and um, that's the only downside about my s36 S uh, that it's not black but this paint does scratch really easy so if you've got a, a stone in your shoe tread or anything like that unfortunately it does scratch easy which is a bit of a pain when you just spend that amount of money on it and can get a little bit annoying but you know it, it's fishing gear we're taking it out and about you're going up and down the banks it's stuff like that's going to happen you just got to suck it up um uh, unless you're going to put a wrap over it every time you go out it, it's going to get some marks on it that's just the way it goes um so the the clip system is a little bit different on the newer ones i'll just go before i go on to that so it's got a nice thick solid pole support here with like a little bit of a, a pushing insert where it just stops the end of the pole chipping allows it to stick nice and firm if you like to have it in between your legs a lot of international fishing does that uh, and it's sat on your bump bar that's it's not my, it's not for me but it's there in case you want it and that can stay in or out so the little bit of clips and they're not manual clips as in the on the external of the box and nice and recessed in so just a little thumb that that one's a little bit stiffer and you can open up the box it's exactly the same on the other side this is the same tray it was what comes out of there lovely nice clicking system all the individuals um bits on there and we'll show you this up close and again if you push in the middle one you've got these nice big recesses at the side um got some pole floats in that side and in the center part is obviously that drawer it also helps is if you get somewhat wedged in that drawer when you're uh, you're pulling it in and out you can just lift the top you can get to it and you hadn't got like you had before where it's or like on most other boxes where you've got um a little bit of plastic over it and you can't actually get to it uh, which can be a bit of a nightmare so that's a really clever idea moving on to the under tray you get two rig winders with it this is what i don't like i'll be honest so i like the fact that it's magnetic and you're not gonna mess about with clips I don't like the fact that it doesn't come out and it doesn't come out the back it has to it can come out the front but it mainly comes out the side but if you do want to get it out the front you've got to turn it and it's not a travesty oh hey up some clips knocked on it's not a travesty that you have to do that it's just it's just a pet eight but i mean you know i, I could live with it so you can see all those nice rig winders in there comes with the little inserts just get one of those picked up comes with the inserts um, and the foam in the inner lining to make it stay in there and not slide about and exactly the same in the bottom um, filled with those rig winders the long ones the medium ones and the top ones are the short ones just make sure that's down there we go i'm just going to put that down to the side because we're going to have a look at that in a little bit close and like i was saying it's it's got a magnet bottom these sort of sit in there and magnet towards there it's got a drip tray so if you get water or mud and stuff on it it's going to drain out the bottom of the box uh, which is great but like i say these and all these other compartments are all waterproof so the water's not going to go inside but it may go on top i must say the, the top though i do like that seat um i still can't decide if it's if it's comfier than um having the absolute i feel that it's not i don't know your opinion i, I feel like i can feel i can feel the wood a little bit but it is not it's comfy and i like the wider bit but i still think i still think that absolute gel seat's the, the daddy i don't know I'd have to fish on it for a while. 
Um, do these come with screw tops then? That's a strange one, isn't it? So they don't come with screw tops, they just come just with caps. Cap, yeah. So, Kel, he's obviously got his Guru tart and tart, and these are pole nose buns, Stuart Jolly. I'll, I'll happily make them up for you, and which, to be fair, do look good, don't they? I mean, I, I, I don't always use the screws on mine. Um, I've obviously got the screw caps that screw onto the top, but I don't always use the screw fittings that much. So if you're not bothered about that, then it doesn't come with that. But um, finishing off with those orange caps, I'm assuming they were black before. Yeah, so they do come black, but those ones from Stuart Jolly for an extra sort of 12 quid or so, whatever it is. They, they look top, they look really good. So 36 mil legs, as you would expect um, nowadays from most boxers. Um, there's one thing about Guru, uh, sorry, and Reeve, uh, is the legs are always solid. Um, they are a really good, strong leg. Now, and, and with them fixing the, the issues of rust and, uh, on these things, I'm, I'm gonna assume that they're gonna be a lot better uh, for longevity. Um, they're, they're obviously double screws, so if you lift your, your box up, you can adjust your main, the main one on your front, but then on your others, your others, like your main seatable adjustable ones, have got the additional dropout inside leg, which is what you'd, you'd come to sort of expect from most boxes now. It's really important when you set your boxes up, you have these as low as you can to the floor and use your bottom ones as your extendable legs. That just, it just helps with getting to stuff. I mean, if you put, if you're always lowering it on these, your tray is going to be really low and especially for my short uh, arms. It comes with a strap as well. It's got four points, uh, two on either side to, for a really comfy strap. Um, a lot of people don't use them nowadays because you know, it's, I'm not saying it's any it's any heavier than any other box that I've done. Um, but once you've got stuff in, you know, it's a solid box. And that's what you're paying for you when you want it to be a solid box. Um, but it's, if you want to carry it with a strap, you can do. Um, picking it up wise, it's two hands on this sort of metal support uh, to pick it up. Uh, we'll go in close and I'll, I'll go through because there's a few little other bits on, and you haven't seen around the other sides. Um, so we'll go into that and then we'll have a few final thoughts and see what you think about it. So just going to give you a little spin round before we go in close. Just to make um, you aware, I was wrong with the additional, this, this one here is an additional tray. This is the one winder tray that comes with the lid and this is an additional. So just, just to mention that. Um, so I'm just going to give you a little spin round the box first and then what we'll do is we'll come in close and we'll we'll talk about it because you can see it's a good looking box it's got a lot of presence it's got that nice stealthed out look um, and, and does look really good which you'd expect um, for the money um, so what we're gonna do is start at the front and get in close so these are the uh, the fasteners that look very similar uh, to what they did originally um, but just reinforced and better material so it doesn't rust now obviously the cap the caps on the top we've got additional pole nose bungs ones um, the foot plate I do like the design of the foot plate with the holes and for grip with that sort of crisscross effect but as you can see if you're using it once you are starting to get scratches on it which it's just one of those, one of those things. Um, annoying, but it is what it is. So, moving on to the front of the box. I thought that this was like a little bit of an additional thing, but it's not, it's just to keep the the uh, rigidity of the pole sock. Um, but it's up to you if you want to stick your pole in it um, or anything like that. Um, so this, the uh, switches, like I said, are recessed in. As you can see, really nice and smooth sort of system. Um, this is the one touch draw just give it a nice little push like that and it flicks out you can see on top the, the edge and that's what stops it from water getting in there and one push to get back in nice and simple underneath the box you can see where it mounts the four little holes um, and sits there happily now my friend that's bought it has just mentioned to me that they have designed it to come out sideways this box um 
purely for when you sat in your box, people didn't want it out the front or the back. Um, personally, I, I normally get out the front, but I can totally see why th they've done that. So that's, again, personal choice um, if you like that or you don't. So going on to the side, the lovely Guru uh, sticks out there with the sort of mango orange um, signage. Looks really bold and nice against the black. And um, the material there is like a really smooth metal um, as you, you'd imagine, nice built quality, nice and quality. And then at the top, there's the other drawer, one click and pull out. That's the, the second drawer. Um, again, loads of different individual compartments and again, the waterproof foam. Now, for me, I really like the deep dra trays and I'm assuming you could get deep trays if you wanted to. It's not in the Z in the background. So if you did want a deeper tray um, to put feeders and things like that in, you could do. Um, and again, that uh, would be an additional cost. Um, lovely RSW logo stitched into there with a wreath waterproof system. That's what it stands for. And you can see that lovely diamond effect um, on the seat. Guru embroidered on the back, as you'd imagine, looks great. And a smoked out wreath. And, and again, those nice recessed um clips which look fantastic this is what i don't like i don't like this back i like the back but we're both in agreement that the mango would have looked nicer i'm just not sure i like this sort of plastic material i just feel that they've spent so much money and time on it that this bit looks a bit cheaper and it was always a problem for cracking on the on the on the ones that i had and things like that um and i just feel one catch of that on something and you're gonna crack it um, but that, that I mean that's a personal negative people some people might not be bothered about that um, just my opinion like I say um, and again guru on that side you've got your strong carabiner clips there to uh, to put on the uh, the nice uh, strap for over your shoulders uh, and again the guru Knowledge is Power logo embroidered in, which looks fantastic. And you can see that overhang. If I show you it there, you can see that overhang all the way around and overhang there. Same on the back. Flush on the front, or more or less flush on the front. Uh, but you can see that overhang and just gives you that wider uh, look. You can see there from on top, just gives you that little slightly wider seat. I'm gonna put you on as a little close up of the winders. So you can see there, they are for letting the tray go in and out. Um, so that at the moment is in its whole position. And if we slide, twisted them both, we could slide that tray in nice and simple. So moving on to the rigs, like I said, this one with the long rigs and the medium rigs is the one that comes with it. I, like, I love the, uh, the top of the, the, the tray where it's got that guru smoked out um, on there and the RWS, I, I love that, I think that's great. And then on the additional one, again, this is a just exactly the same, um, but an additional unit. Um, the only difference is that, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but under the bottom of this, you can see that this is a unit that clips middle, because when you pick the other one up, which I'll try and do, that has to be the bottom, because it has the little legs that click into the frame. So... Let's jump back onto main camera and uh, see what our thoughts are. Right guys, what are my thoughts? So you can actually just get this in a standard Reeve RSW one and they're around 1300, 1325, something like that. Um, you're paying that a little bit extra to get it guru'd up. So if you're not really bothered about having the guru effects, you just get the normal one. Um, but my thought process would be um sort of two years time you're gonna be looking still a, a grand for one of these at least they're gonna hold the value because they're a reeve they always do uh, would i buy one personally i wouldn't spend uh, that much money but i can understand why people would um it's a rock solid box i mean it, it's way better quality than the one i had but that way you know a good eight year old box and it has come on a lot from that um it looks great, it's got all the features that you'd want. Um, it's got everything that I would want um, on a box. The stance, it's a, like a wider stance box. It feels solid, it looks great. Um, and, and the little bit of quirks I could get, I could live with. I am quite good with stuff. I don't throw things about. 
um, you know, if you, it, it's a lot of money. So yes, there's boxes that do every single thing that this box does for 350, 400 quid. Um, and, and there's nothing wrong with getting those boxes. I, I'm not telling you to, to spend the money, but if you want the pinnacle of sort of box design, you, what you're looking for me at the OC box, or if you're looking at a commercial box, you're looking at these boxes. Um, other than that, you're looking at your carbon boxes, um, either your uh, Preston um, or your map ones. Uh, but you know, yeah, like 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 um, my friend saying in the background, they are disc both discontinued. So uh, personally, I think that'll probably be just lack of sales. We know Reeve boxes have always been expensive. Ever since I've been fishing and looked at match fishing, they've always been in the 1100 quid or more. So people are expecting that kind of money. Now, if you're trading your other box in for three, four, 500 quid, if you've got a Reeve six, 700 quid, then you're only putting that additional sort of seven or 800 quid to it. So, which is a little less of a sting. But if you're just starting and you, and you want to get into the pinnacle and you've got the money and you want to buy a Reeve, then it, it, 1500 quid, 1500 quid. Um, but you're investing in something that's going to last you and if it, it, you know it, as long as you look after it it will do that um can you get slightly longer legs you could get an and a 36 yeah so you, you could get the, the reeve got the the longer legs as well aren't they yeah. so you could get the longer legs um if if you're taller uh, and you know i'm small so everything's you know it's going to be about that height with my my train i feel that my matrix ones are slightly longer than these but um again you they're things that you can swap and change out. People snap those those legs up in a second, uh, and you could get any other 36 mil smash through there anyway. If you wanted a screw cap on or whatever, then that's completely up to you. I really like the soft touch design, the extended. I love this extended seat. I think that's great, um, and the quality of build. You know, it feels rock solid, and it looks like they've ironed out those little problems that they had before. Um, and you know, it is a premium box, so. Thank you uh, for joining us on this one. And this will definitely split people in the panel. There'll be hundreds of people that say, ah, I won't spend that much money on a box. And this is not what this exercise is about. It's about showing you what's on the market and what's out there. There's people that this will be the premium category that they want to look at, as are the other videos that are in our playlist, which are not, they're in intermediate and lower priced. So you can get the whole shebang. It's about showing you information that's out there so it's not a a, a, a go for it um kind of video uh, and at least you get an in-depth look at what they are like we've not been able to get in the shops so thank you very much for watching if you want to join us on like i said on any of our playlists um and have a look at any other reviews that we've done or videos or features or anything like that if you want to join us on the fastly growing angling for you uh, facebook group we're nearly at six thousand believe it or not uh, members on there great members it's not a banner site family um, and you can ask questions and live feeds and all sorts of stuff on there uh, and if you just want to share your photos and you want to go on angling underscore for you at instagram then you can show it share your pictures on there see what we're up to and uh, feel free to do that and until the next one guys if you can like share and subscribe see you soon and tight lines